finally coming at you with my 12-hour Fright Fest video. Um, what's today's date? It is the 13th of October. It's a few weeks before Halloween. I just wanted to get out of there beforehand to where if people forgot about it or they didn't realize I was holding this, that maybe they'll see my video and they'll say, hey, I want to do that. And so I wanted to get it done a little bit earlier. Um, than Halloween. I plan on doing it closer, but I actually would rather do it now because I really, really am in the mood to watch some of these movies, and um, I finally actually think I have the time to do it, and so that's why one of the reasons why I'm doing it. Um, it's not a coincidence uh, that I'm wearing my Chuck Norris shirt. I'm actually wearing the exact same clothes that I wore for my promo zombie film that I made, um, the announcement video. I'm actually wearing the same clothes that I was attacked by that zombie in. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was a lot of fun to make. And so, I figured it was fitting to wear the same thing. Like I came back from the dead or something like that. Um, so I went to the store today, picked up some snacks, um, made some sweet tea. My wife did. She makes the best sweet tea and it's in the uh, fridge right now. It's all cold. Got some of my Star Wars cup check that out. It's, I have a whole collection of them. But, um, yeah, it's gonna, I'm going to kind of do this video a little bit different than I've done my, I did my 24-hour movie marathon. I actually have it set up. And at some points, I'm just going to stop the movie and just kind of just talk to the camera to where it's not just quick shots of me watching the movie, you know? And so, um, I guess really quick, I'm just going to go over what my guidelines were. And other than a few things, you can pretty much watch whatever you want. Um, I got them on my phone here. You are supposed to watch one universal horror movie classic, monster movie, you know, like Frankenstein, Dracula. Um, number two is you're supposed to watch one zombie film. Number three, watch a horror film that you've always wanted to see, but you just haven't seen it. And number four, you answer some questions. Um, what are your top five horror films? what movies actually scared the heck out of you, and what are your opinions on the future of the genre. Um, so it's pretty basic, and other than that, you can pretty much watch whatever you want. And so um, <coughs> I'm actually going to start out my night by watching Frankenstein. I actually have not picked up the Blu-ray set yet, but um, let me see. I actually have this version that has Bride of Frankenstein and a whole bunch of other ones in it. And I'm going to be watching this, I'm watching Frankenstein, and I'm going to be watching Bride of Frankenstein right after. I'm going to be, you know, watching them consecutive instead of waiting later in the night to watch it. And so that's what I'm going to be starting out with. Frankenstein. Um, of course, it was directed and made in 1931 or 1930, one of those two. I always forget. Um, and I'm not going to spend three hours looking at this box trying to figure it out, but it's one of those. And it's just, it's really the first um, universal horror movie I ever saw, like monster movie. And it was really, really amazing to me. It was really atmospheric, and I just loved it so much. And so I'm going to definitely start out the night by watching that. Um, so I will see you guys in a second. I'm starting to get really, really hungry. So I think when this is over, I'm going to make some food. Hey guys, I'm still watching the movie, but um, I just wanted to change it up. I wanted to lay on my couch because the chair started getting uncomfortable. And the TV is literally like three feet away from me. And whenever I film, I'm going to turn this light on over here. But other than that, I'm keeping it pitch black. But um, I figured it's a nice... Um, nice view from the couch and can't go wrong with laying on a couch and watching movies all night. Hey 
Hey guys, I just got done watching Frankenstein, and once again, it's an amazing movie, and I've always loved it. But, um, I was going to get something to eat now, but I decided I'm just going to go ahead and watch Bride of Frankenstein. So, let me turn the camera, as you can see. It's on the menu. I'm going to press play. And it's time to get started. See you in a bit. Hey guys, Ryan here. I'm still watching Bride of Frankenstein, but I couldn't wait till the end to make some food. So I'm making some pizza rolls, and hopefully that'll give me some more energy to last um, throughout the night until I get hungry again. Alright everybody, well, I finished my pizza rolls, and I just didn't show them on camera because they really weren't the most appetizing looking things. Um, it's late at night and I didn't want to turn the oven on, so I cooked them in the microwave and it just turned mush, but I ate it anyways because I was hungry. Um, well, I just finished watching Frankenstein and Bride of Frankenstein, and those are just two great movies. Frankenstein, I've always talked about before, but Bride of Frankenstein just brings it to a whole new level. It has a great score um, and just a good storyline in it. The ending is perfect. I really, really enjoyed it. So I hope you guys check that out. Um, like I said, my, my Frankenstein and Bride of Frankenstein come, came in this collection, the uh, Legacy Collection. Um, you can't really see it because the light's behind me. But um, yeah, and so it was just really, really good. And I find it interesting that Boris Karloff in real life had like a bridge in his mouth, I guess, to help with some mouth issues. And, uh, in the first movie, he had it. He didn't talk, and so he took the bridge out to where it made him look even more dead, and had like these kind of cheeks. But in Bride of Frankenstein, um, he w he didn't really want to talk in it, but the character talks, and so he had to take the bridge out. So that's why in Bride of Frankenstein, his face looks wider, like it looks fuller, and I just found that kind of interesting. So. Alright guys, well I'm on to my next movie, <clears throat> and so far I've knocked out one criteria out of my um, requirements, and that is by watching a Universal monster movie, and that was Frankenstein, and I went ahead and threw in Bride of Frankenstein. Um, next, I'm going to be just choosing one that's not in any of the categories, but it is um, just one of my favorite cheesy low budget horror movies. Um, from 1941, and it is Bela Lugosi in The Devil Bat. It's about a doctor who seeks revenge on his patients and people who he feels did him wrong by giving him shaving lotion that is like a potion that attracts a killer bat to kill them. It's really over the top, but it is pure cheese and it's fun to watch. So, that is the next film that I'll be watching. See you in a couple minutes. As you can see, this film does not look good. Um, there's not really a restored print of it out yet, but it still is worth it, and it makes it even more cheesy and low-budget-like. Hey guys, Ryan back here again. I just got done watching The Devil Bat, and I forgot how much I really, really liked this movie. Like, I mentioned before how I liked it, but I don't know, it's just really cool. And I hope they eventually come out with a really good restored Blu-ray. I think that'd be pretty cool. So, um, I think I'm going to go fix me something to drink now. Fix me some tea.
So I don't know what I'm going to watch now, next. I think I might watch... I think I'm going to knock out my zombie movie and go ahead and watch Day of the Dead. I think that's what I'm going to do. Alright, well, here we go. Film number four. And this is going to be my zombie film, Day of the Dead. And it's almost 2 a.m. And I started... What time did I start? I think I started at either 8 or at 9, I can't remember. But I've been going for a while. And I so I think I'm... I still got another couple hours before I'm halfway done. So I'm going to go ahead and watch Day of the Dead. And this was actually the first um, gory, gory zombie movie I ever saw. Um, if you watched my video that I made before this on um, my three favorite horror films as a contest entry in a Tad Link 76's contest, you would have seen that, or you would have heard me talk about how um, I used to go over to a friend's house and we'd watch horror movies and he introduced me to Halloween and Night of the Living Dead. No, not Night of the Living Dead, but Halloween. Well, this is the other one that he introduced me to. Um, and I had already seen this by the time I saw Night of the Living Dead, but I didn't realize it was by the same person. Um, and this was in elementary school, and I, I quickly realized it was by the same person. So, um, yep, George A. Romero's masterpiece, Day of the Dead. And it's actually not my favorite one of the um, th three better zombie films, but it is better in regards to gore. It's really realistic, and it's really a well-made film. Um, and I haven't watched it in a while, so that's why I chose to watch that as my zombie movie. I was going to watch um, Lucio Fulci's Zombie, but um, I watched that recently. And so I'm going to go ahead and just watch Day of the Dead. Alright guys, well, I just got done watching Day of the Dead. It's been a few years since I watched it, and once again... It has to be one of the best gore films I've ever seen, realistic-wise. And it has really good performances by each of the um, actors in the film. And I just love it. And now, I'm going to watch... Let's see if I can get it in there, because the lights are off. Halloween, the extended edition. So, let's go ahead and do this. Hey guys, Ryan here. Um, it's actually been probably, I would say, at least almost eight or nine hours since the last footage, let me turn this down, since the last thing I shot, um, I was watching Halloween, and I guess I just fell asleep, and it was about 5 a.m., and I only had a few more hours to go, but I did have... I needed to finish Halloween, I needed to finish um, the next two that I had chosen, and I needed to do my questions still. And so I decided to just continue it today. This is a few hours later, I woke up probably around, you know, seven, eight. So I only got a few hours, like a few hours sleep, like three or four. But um, had some things I had to do with lunch, and now I'm back. And I'm going to finish the Fright Fest. I'm actually in my bedroom right now. My wife is out in the rest of the place, you know, doing stuff. And um, the bedroom is actually dark when I close the blinds and all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to be in the darkest place possible. So it's kind of like I'm still watching it at night. Um, so I'm going to pick up where I left off in Halloween. And we'll see you guys shortly. Alright guys, well, I kind of ran into a problem. I was watching Halloween, um, which I showed you before I was watching it, but I had my camera plugged in, but I guess I accidentally unplugged it, so it went dead. So when it was over, it was dead, and I couldn't film um, the next part, which was me talking about how I was going to watch Halloween 2. So that's what I just watched, and I am out of time. So that means I did my full 12 hours. Um, you know, I've always loved Halloween too, 
you know, it's not nearly as good as the first one, but it's a really good violent slasher film. You know, where the first one was a good kind of psychological, um, not psych it's not really a psychological thriller, but it was kind of a good suspenseful build-up to a horrifying movie, which was like the last 30 minutes. And this one was just a complete slasher from the opening to the end. And um, I think it was actually really well done. You know, people might complain about some of the story and, um, you know, just that it wasn't up to par with the original. Yeah, it's not, but the thing is, it's still f it's fun. It's a really fun movie, and um, it still, you know, makes me jump. There's still parts of it that make me jump, and I've always liked it. Well, eventually, I'm going to get both of these on Blu-ray, and uh, I want to get the uh, special edition Shout Factory Blu-ray Blu of Halloween 2. Um, so maybe once I get some money, I'll be able to... I'll be able to do that, but, you know, I'm happy with the DVDs as well, um, but yeah, so, let me, make, let me make sure I look at my phone where I have, let me make sure, okay, my number one was watch at least one classic Universal Monster film, um, and I, my choice was Frankenstein, and I also threw in Bride of Frankenstein, watch one zombie film, I watched Day of the Dead. Watch a horror film that you have never watched but always wanted to see. Okay, this is the one that I was going to talk about. Um, cool Duder, if you guys know, was in that movie Haunted High. And it actually came on today before I did my challenge. And I DVR'd it. And so I watched it um, before the night even began. And so I didn't have a vi any video of me doing it, but I did watch it. And I thought it was pretty cool to see him in it. it was, it's still kind of weird. It was still kind of weird to see him in it because I'm used to seeing his YouTube videos. And uh, I don't know, it was pretty funny. It was a good movie, though. It was a good, you know, cheesy sci-fi um, channel movie. And I did like seeing, what was the actor's name? Not, um, not, not Machete. But um, what was the guy's name? He's from... He was in Lost, and he also played in The Mighty Ducks. Um, I'm sure you, you guys could tell me in the comments section. But um, it, was a, it was a pretty cool movie. I enjoyed seeing him in it. And I think Sean stole a lot of the scenes that he was in with some of his comments. And I really thought the part where he, uh, you know, if you guys haven't seen it, there's a part where he's in, like, the air ducts. And he's like, oh my gosh, I feel like this is Die Hard. And he goes, yippee, yippee, ki -yay. And it was just kind of a funny thing, because... I mean, they could have written that just for him because he loves movies so much. But, um, yeah, so that's the movie that I watched that I've been wanting to see, but I never got around to being able to see it. Um, and then, in my video, at some point, answer the following questions. What are your top five favorite horror films? Halloween, The Exorcist, um, Dawn of the Dead, um, Friday 13th Part 3, and, let's see, I really like The Evil Dead, but it's really hard with horror films. Number one, the, the top three are always going to be Dawn of the Dead, Dawn of the Dead, Halloween, and The Exorcist. The rest are always kind of thrown in there just because they're all so good. What horror film has actually scared the heck out of me? Well, to answer that question, Halloween did. The first time I saw it. And, uh, I had nightmares from it for a while. Um, I think I've mentioned it before, in a video before, but I watched it at a friend's house, and, you know, I'd never seen anything like it, but I would have nightmares, but it, it lasted for, uh, a few weeks. And since then, in elementary school, I've never, ever, ever had a nightmare in regards to being killed by a serial killer or anything. So that's pretty cool. Um, and what are my opinions on the future of the horror genre? Um, mine might, see, might seem kind of harsh, because I don't really like new horror movies at all. So I think it's kind of gotten to crap, because there's no... I feel like there's not anything original anymore. But um, I'm kind of torn in regards to that, because I say that, but then I haven't watched a lot of new ones to even try. You know, I hear Kevin the Woods is original, from what I hear. 
And if there's any other ones that you guys like that are pretty original and new, um, that aren't the same old, same old, you know, found footage kind of thing, um, just leave me some suggestions in the um, comment box, and I'll be sure to check them out. But um, I think that they just need to get back to being creative and not relied on CGI so much in regards to, you know, gore. And, I mean, not all of them are CGI, but some of them are just so, like, I don't know. Maybe they're just too disturbing from what, you know, different people here on YouTube, you know, have watched certain movies that are, um, you know, either overseas or something like that, that they couldn't make here. Like, I never saw the Serbian film, but it seemed pretty disturbing hearing what some of the people were saying about it. And, uh, I don't know, I'm not really into that kind of stuff. I really just kind of st stick with the classics, the classic zombie movies, the 80s and, um, the 70s and 80s slasher films, you know, like April Fool's, and that, I think that's, or, and Happy Birthday to Me, and, like, different ones that are, um, you know, I really like, uh, those kind of slasher movies that were trying to be, like, Friday the 13th, um, uh, I just think those are kind of fun, and so... But yeah, that was my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and enjoyed hearing my input on some of the movies. And I hope that you guys get involved and you can have fun with it. Alright guys, until next time, remember there's three ways of doing things. The right way, the wrong way, and the shadow way. See ya.